From Channel 3, this is an Eyewitness News Update. Hi everyone, I'm Kara Sundland and here's a look at some of your top headlines. U.S. health officials have announced plans to dispense COVID-19 booster shots to all Americans to shore up their protection amid the surging Delta variant and evidence that the vaccine's effectiveness is, fa is falling as time goes on. The plans call for an extra dose eight months after people got their second shot of the Pfizer or Moderna vaccine. The doses could start the week of September 20th. People who received the single dose Johnson & Johnson vaccine will also probably need extra shots, but they said they are waiting for more data. Be prepared to wear your mask while traveling until at least next year. The TSA has extended its mask mandate on flights, buses and trains through January 18th. And airlines say most passengers are complying. With the state's COVID rate back above 4%, Governor Ned Lamont has decided that all students from kindergarten through 12th grade will be required to wear a mask regardless of vaccination status. The order runs through the end of September for now. State leaders are starting to lay out how they want to spend the money. Connecticut is getting in the, all the recently passed infrastructure money bill. This bill means more to Connecticut than just about any state in the country. We do have really aging infrastructure. We are sort of got barbells on either side of us in Boston and New York. We've got to be able to move around. Connecticut will receive more than $5 billion to improve the state's transportation system, in addition to being eligible for more than $100 billion in competitive federal transportation grants. Post-tropical cyclone Fred is going to take a preferable path where the severe weather is locked in Pennsylvania. While we could see a strong or severe thunderstorm in Litchfield County, that's also going to be the area that's most likely to see heavy rain. So anywhere over an inch of rain is going to be in Hartford or Litchfield County. But for the vast majority of us through tonight into tomorrow morning, we're looking at a quarter inch or a half inch of rain. Fast forward through the rest of today, we're just talking about some isolated showers. The heaviest rain is going to fall after midnight through the very early morning hours. So some folks driving into some downpours for the morning commute uh, more than likely just hitting some light rain showers by the time we get to around 9 a.m. Looking at our seven day forecast things are heating up especially once we get to Friday 90 degrees plus you have the humidity so feeling quite warm outside looking at some isolated scattered showers on Saturday and just a touch cooler on Sunday 84 degrees with sunnier skies.